Our first speaker for this session is architect Junia Ishigami. Architect Junia Ishigami acquired his master's degree in architecture and planning at Tokyo National University of Fine Arts and Music in 2000. From there, he went on to work with Kazuyo Sejima at the Prisoner Prize winning practice Sana. Junia Ishigami is the founder of Junia Ishigami and Associates, a leading design firm focused on designing spaces from scratch freed from the conventions of architecture and construct construction. Amongst his notable designs are the workshop for the Kanagawa Institute of Technology in Japan and Cloud Arch in Sydney. Architect Ishigami showed solo in the Japanese pavilion at the 11th Venice Architecture Biennale in 2008 and was the youngest ever recipient of the Architectural Inst Institute of Japan, Japan Prize for the Kanagawa Institute of Technology. In 2010, he won the Golden Lion for Best Project at the 12th Venice Architecture Biennale and in the same year, he became an associate professor at Tohoku University in Japan. In 2014, he was made the Kenzo Tange design critic at the Harvard Graduate School of Design. Ishigami is the winner of the fifth BSI Swiss Architectural Award 2016. Sir, kindly take the dais. Hi, uh, my name is Junya Ishigami. So I'm based on Tokyo. So the first is thank you very much for inviting this place. The the I, I am first time to when come to uh, uh, this country, India. So I'm very interesting. So so today, so I'll talk about uh, some project. So recently, so I'm very interesting to make a new type of the environment by making the new architecture. I want to create a new nature in between actual environment and the natural environment. So these things I will explain about uh, uh, my product. My product. The this is the first product. The, this is a project to design a place to think about the world peace in Copenhagen, Denmark. So this is a redeveloping area, and the site is above the sea. The required program are very simple: the large multi-purpose space for playing, entrance floor, and the office facilities. So enter the site is around here on the sea. So the, we are thinking of co creating architecture like a cloud as if the mist alight from the water. The, this is a section drawing. The building composition is very simple. The, this is the main floor. The, this is the entrance floor. And also this is the office facilities. The, the floor of the main hall is the same surface of the water, like this. So, cloud-like shell structure is supported by the pillars, like this, piles, from the, uh, from the bottom of the sea. The Hawaii space is under the sea, here. So, this structure is the put on the deed structure. Uh, this is the plan of the main hall. So the sea water comes into the building directly from the outside and the create the floor surface of the uh, main hall. Uh, this is the floor plan of the bottom of the sea level. The, from the quay, the visitor will access to the main hall, the main entrance through the tunnel into the sea, like this. This is a section of the part of the building. Visitor will access to the main hall by the board. Some place had a very high ceiling, and sometimes the ceiling and the water level get so close. The distance between building and the water surface gradually changes. So this is the close up section. So this is the shell structure. This is the glass wall. The both concrete wall and the glass wall goes inside two meters below the, the water surface. So 
they always sit under the water. So this is the water level. This is the 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 uh, the wall. So this wall wall is into the into the sea two meters below from the uh, water surface. So the 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 surrounding water continue to the inside of the building like this. But since the water is kept two meters below the water surface, this is the structure. The, this is the water surface. So the water is kept two meters below from the water surface. The, it is completely separated from the surrounding ocean drift. Therefore, inside the water temperature is kept stable. As a result, comfortable, em e comfortable ecological interior space is created. This is a, a elevation drawing. The white concrete volume appears as if mist occurs the, on the surface of the water. The roof scape it looks like a sea cloud. So the concrete wall stand on the surface of the water as if they are floating on the ocean. The here is the inside perspective view. As a perimeter of the building sink under the sea. The space between white concrete shell and the water surface becomes the new interior environment. This is diagram. The opening at the perimeter of the building remain at the low level, just as the one meter or something. Now most of the natural sunlight comes in from the under the sea, reflecting from the uh, bottom of the sea. As a result, surface of the water inside changes its brightness by time. For example, when the attitude is low, the during the morning and evening, sunlight reflects on the uh, surface of the water like this. And its, its reflect beautifully rendered onto the ceiling. This is drawing. This is the drawing of the morning scenery of the building. This is the uh, daytime. Under the shell, the water surface shines blue because a lot of sunlight comes from the bottom of the sea. The once opening it op op the opening in the glass wall are closed. If less people in the space, the water surface will be like a mirror. In the summertime, the probably the they are open the uh, windows in the perimeters. Now, when glass walls are open, the waves come in from the outside and create a, a various type of the ripples like this. So, the, this shape of the waves very different from the outside shape of the wave. So, the, in the evening, the color of the sunset will reflect on the cloud shell. So the, this is the this is the model of the uh, this project. The even if the, uh, the if the 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 water is not fulfilled the uh, this building, the building the inside of the building becomes the very dark. But uh, if the the water becomes the fulfilled the uh, this building, the the light is coming into the uh, inside of the building, and then the inside space becomes very bright. So the through this project, through this project, the, I would like to think further about the possibility that architecture as a structure can create a new landscape and a new environment. I want to create the new outside space inside of the building. So I want to create a new environment inside the building, and also I want to create a new scenery the inside the building and also outside the building. This is the kind of the uh, my concept of the, of the uh, another work as well. So next project is the lecture hall project in the uh, historical park located in the outer city of the Amsterdam in Netherlands. Uh, this is the site. The the site is placed in the wetland. The, there is a lot of beautiful natural park, and the, there is also the, the, we, the, there is a lot of countless pond in the forest. 
So there are some rivers and also ponds, and also that we can find a beautiful moss field. The here this building, that this is the old villa building, that built in the 18th century in the park. The renovation of this villa is a part of this project. And also, we will design the new lecture hall as an extension of this pillar. Inside of the park, now there are various types of paths while you are in the park, and the people could enjoy walking around the park. This is the site plan of the part of the park, because this park is historically very important, so we cannot change any green area, any ground form, or the, any building. So it is very difficult to build the building in this site. So the, under the, these conditions, we thought about uh, finding the best passage shape from the existing park bus. Probably you can difficult to find the building, but uh, we make a building here. So we make this building just a tracing of the uh, existing park pass. So, the, the, as I said, the plan was simply made by tracing the existing park bus and the turn, turn into the inside space. The, through this project, we concentrate on thinking of how architecture melts into the existing environment. This is the enlarged plan. The, when you walk around the park, you will see the long space like a park passage like this. And also, you can reach the center of the building. This is the lecture hall. And also, you can reach to the old villa. This is the existing ponds. So this is the model image. The existing park path shapes the building form itself. The old facade was made out of grass. It is stretched out according to the park path, and the beautiful facade seems endlessly continued to the park. Now we would like to plan these facilities to be a part of the park scenery. So we thought it, we thought it is very important to have the minimum structure because the, we are making the uh, building, the melting with the existing scenery and also building itself. So that we propose to use only transparent glass to support whole building structure. So the, 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 this building, there is no pillars, no crumbs. So the all transparent glass support the uh, big roof. This is the entrance. This is the elevation of the building. The, there is no structure, just uh, uh, we have the transparent screen. So this is the uh, section drawing of the corridor. The, in order to use the transparent glass as a structure load-bearing wall, we use three layers of the self-standing glass. The, this enlarged plan is here. So the, this glass is supported for the uh, window force, and also the, these two glass support for the vertical force. The, these three layers of the glass support the whole layer bearing load of the, this building. So as I explained, the glass wall could support the entire building as a structure load bearing wall, but it also reflects and the transmit scenery and the become the part of the park scenery. It extends a beautiful transparent screen into the park. This transparent screen gently divides the area in this park and it creates a different activity and atmosphere in the historical park. The, we transform the existing park path to the architectural space. In the meanwhile, the new landscape will be created around the building, or inside and outside. The finally, this building appeared as, as a transparent hedge in this beautiful historical park. The construction is already, the, this is the construction, uh, this is the construction photograph. The, the, the structure is only transparent screen. 
This transparent screen supports the whole bearing load of the big roof. This is the photograph of the completed building. So probably you can find the uh, building, that there is a building here and here. The building is completely melted into the existing scenery. And also, the, the sometimes the scenery reflects on the, the glass. And also, the, you can see the, uh, the different side of different different side of the uh, dif different side of the uh, building. And also, the, you can enter the entrance through like this. The center of the building, the level is a little bit lower than the existing uh, existing ground. So if you can, if you sit down on the seat, that your eye level is the same as the ground level. So sometimes the the two glass screen that continue to touch to the uh, become the one screen, and then the one screen going to the uh, the forest. So the this screen going to the forest like this. The, this is the entrance from the uh, existing old building. The, the this is the looks like the uh, the entrance to the outside, but the, this is the entrance to the building of the inside. So the, sometimes the, the, there is the some uh, lecture lecture event inside the building. The the uh, eye level of the uh, audience becomes the same level as the ground. And also the building existing is very low. The 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 existing scenery makes the uh, the space of the inside. The existing environment just become the become the uh, inside space of the building. And also the the roof surface divide the inside and outside. The the building wall is just divide the. Uh, the, just divide the edge of the building. So the the building is the roof itself looks uh, looks floating on the uh, on uh, above the uh, above the uh, above the building above the space. So this is the uh, edge of the building. The this single screen that divide the, this space and this space. And also, the, the finally the building the going to the forest, and then the building disappear into the forest. So the this building the become the uh, become the come from the uh, this the, the the space of the this building come from the existing environment of this space, this environment. So the existing environment, uh, existing environment makes the building itself. The next product is also the existing environment makes the new environment. Now this is the garden product in Japan. So the site is a little bit north from, from the Tokyo. So this product is to make a, a new park in the in the site of the existing hotel. The, this hotel is located in the uh, in between the Sendai and Tokyo. The, this is the aerial photograph of the site. The, there is a hotel in the forest. The, this is the existing hotel, and also that this site is the. Uh, so that I explained that, that we have the two products here. So that this, this blue part is a new site for the new hotel here. And also this site is the site of the new park. The area of the two sites is a, also the hotel site is a 60,000 square meters. And also, this site is also 60,000 square meters. Uh, brightness, darkness, the mixing with everything in this site. So the trees and the pond, the cloud are at a high density, which does not exist in natural world, and the moss is filled in between them. 
the water and the, the landscape, the gradually mix with, and the also the edge of the pond and the edge of the ground, the, the making very ambiguous. So, the, the, we, I already explained the three projects. The, the I want to create a new environment by making the uh, architecture way. So, and also this is a photograph of the summer season, but uh, in the winter time, the, 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 there is a lot of snow here. The, the, the snow is just a full field on the ground. The pond is always the flowing the water. So, the, the snow is just uh, uh, the full field, the, uh, the surface of the ground. The we can see the a lot of hole of the water on the uh, very beautiful white field. So next product is the workshop designed for the university student. That it's called Kite Workshop. This university is suburbia of Tokyo. So this is the site of the university. That this is the playground. That this is the the plaza. The the this is the site of the uh, this product. In the very center of the university. Uh, this is a photograph of the roof. The building is one-story building, and the, 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 the site is 45 meters by 45 meters, around 2,000 square meters. The, the four facades of this building are all transparent glass. Uh, I thought that I, I want to make a, a building like a, a finding the space in the forest. Of course, the forest itself is a kind of the landscape, natural environment, but uh, we can find a lot of different type of space in the forest. I want to create a, like this type of space into the, uh, in the, in the inside of the, this building. The, there is no wall in this building, the all vertical and the horizontal horses are supported by the slender and thin columns. This is a plum. It is a slightly distorted shape of the plum. The point you can see is the pillars. The columns are placed appear random. The based on the placement of these columns, different spaces are created. In this project, I wanted to seek out the ambiguous space. The people will fill the whole space of the different 2,000 square meters in each space. It means in 2,000 square meters single space, countless kind of space included. For example, if you stand here, the, the whole space it, uh, uh, and also, uh, if you start here, that this whole space and this whole space is completely different, because uh, this space is uh, uh, come from the uh, condition of the uh, the arrangement of column from this space, and also this space made by the arrangement from the uh, the arrangement of column from this space. So even if this space is a looks single space, but uh, all space is very different, depend on the each space, each position. The, this is the enlarged plan. So the 305 columns in this building, the all of the columns, the different proportion like this, and the different orientation like this. The for each column, we made the, uh, different detail for each columns. The 305 columns have the different details. So this is the photograph of the entrance area. From here, you can see the a lot of edge of the column like this. So the edge of the columns are thin and slender. So from here, you can see very far away into the open like this. From here, you can see the a lot of faces of the columns. The many faces of the columns give the impression of the close impression. 
within this building, there are many ways like uh, animal trails, and sometimes we find the uh, uh, open space without columns. Also, this space is without columns, but it uh, looks close impression. And also, this space is uh, a very crowded area of the columns, so this space becomes uh, a very, the imp very close impression. So this is a plan with the uh, furniture. The, arrange of the arrangement of the column looks random, but it is strictly determined. For example, this is the load for cards. This is the office space. This is the work, work space, workshop. That there is no column here. And also, this is the entrance hall here. This is the machine space or something. So the, we plan the various type of space here. The, but the boundary between these spaces are fuzzy and ambiguously. With this ambiguity, we are trying to create a new flexibility of the architecture. This is the energy plan. The normal building, the, the direction of the direction of the uh, each furniture is decided by the uh, structure of the building. But the, this building, the whole structure is a completely different direction. So in this building, there is no standard orientation for furniture and also activity of the human. The each orientation are defined by the each relationship of the uh, each relationship of the uh, column and the furniture and the activity and the human act, uh, human activities. So the this is a photograph. The skylight, like a sunlight filters, filtering through to, through the trees, it is atmosphere like a being in the woods. The various area and the spaces spread through this building like a landscape. Rather than make a space by composition of the uh, small spaces, but uh, I want to create a space as if making a landscape. These clumps are looks like a uh, wood. The when we watch the inside from the outside, the inside of the, this building looks like another outside space. Uh, this is a movie. The, we edited this film took by the four months, and also this movie is the, taking a picture by the security camera. In this building, so the, the same person is always moving, always walking the same way. Like this narrow space is a kind of the wall. Nobody through in between these, three, these columns. But uh, this is uh, actually, this is not the wall, so the sometimes people can through like this. <laughs> and also, the, this, these people can walk straight, but uh, they couldn't. <laughs> so this column is always touched by the everybody. In this building, the furniture is always moving by creating a new space, depend on the activities. They are making a barricade to make a private space inside of the inside the this barricade. The, this barricade is uh, aligned uh, uh, columns. So in this time, like this narrow space becomes the entrance space. Before, like this narrow space was wall, but uh, in this case, like this narrow space in between two columns becomes the uh, entrance for this private space.
this group, everybody working in the same way. So, <laughs> but in this time, that this is the same group, but in this time, that nobody can work on the same way. The all activity is completely different by the uh, the situation and also the the relationship with the, uh, each person and the each furniture and the structure itself. So this building is the the the, the recognition of the space is completely completely not defined, but the, the the recognition of the space is created by the activity and the relationship with the everything. So next product is the the museum product. That this is the Polytechnical Museum planning in Moscow, Russia. So this is the renovation and the extension of the 18th century historical building. This is the existing building. This is the original building. The total floor area is 40,000 square meters. So it is a huge building occupied one city block. Even though it is 40,000 square meters huge building, there is only one small public space around here. And also, as you can see the, from this picture, there are a lot of big one-way roads here, the, which is the character of this city. The, these big white roads make the city district blocks. Because, because of this white traffic, there are no crosswalk in this city. And kind of the opposite of the, uh, this place, I think. The, the nobody cross the walk, cross the, cross the street. The, because the, if we, you, you have to cross the street, in this case, you have to go down under the ground, and then you have to go through the, the tunnel of the under the under, underground, and then go up to the, go up to the, uh, onto the uh, street level. So, the people, the very difficult to uh, the cross to the street in this place. So, uh, and also that this building occupied the one city block, that means that if we access to this building, we have to go go to the underground and then through the tunnel and then go up. Very difficult to reach to this building in this city. So for this reason, I thought this building had a very unwelcoming impression, even though this is a public facilities. The task of this project is how we can change this negative welcoming impression to positive friendly impression. This is the uh, task of the, our project. So this is the uh, kind of the concept of this building. So this is the existing section drawing. The building has five, level, five stories above the ground floor. The basement level is uh, just uh, one floor. The above the ground level are not bad condition. That it could be repaired and improved by small restorations. On the other hand, that we research the basement level, the basement condition is very bad because the originally this site was rivers, river. So there is a lot of water into the uh, structure. So this was the uh, brick structure building. The a lot of brick become the kind become the kind of the powder. So the the anyway the basement structure condition is very bad, so that we have to repair a lot. Therefore, above the ground level, because of good condition, that we try to preserve the original condition as much as possible. On the other hand, in the basement level, apply the large renovation to create a new space. We sought to change the existing basement floor into the new ground floor by digging down Ground, digging down the ground around the, around the museum, like this. So the, I want to create a, a new ground level on the basement level. So this is the existing basement level. And then the, we will connect the, this ground, underground level to the, uh, the existing ground level to make a new ground level underground. This is a new section. 
as you can see this drawing, by digging and uh, reshaping the ground form as smooth lamp. The basement floor becomes the new ground level floor. The original basement floor would be new entrance space for this museum. As I explained, the most of the people come to the existing museum site from the underpass, like this. So that if the original basement floor turn into the ground floor, the circulation becomes more natural like this. This is the basement plan because the, this is a brick structure building. Therefore, a lot of load-bearing brick wall to support the building. As a result, basement plan is very complex, like a maze. The, and also, the environment of the underground is a very bad condition. So, the, we plan to open up this space as much as possible to use for the new entrance space. We carefully research and remove the load-bearing brick wall as much as possible to create a huge colonized space like this. The, we remove the uh, old wall and then create a, a big colonized space underground and then create a, a new, new ground level underground. And also, the, the, this space connects to the surrounding landscape like this. So the, this is a, a bird's eye view. So people can enter the new entrance on the underground. The, that means the uh, new ground level. So this is the elevation. So the basically, the historical building, the proportion of the elevation is very important. So the, this is the innovation project. The normal renovation product, the normal extension product is just extension and the, uh, like uh, put a uh, new structure on the building. This is the kind of example. But uh, I don't want to make like this. I want to create, uh, I want to create a new space in the building by using the existing environment of the inside of the building. By exposing the base, uh, by exposing the basement structure, the facade proportion also changed new looks, look, new looking. That this is a kind of looks in very small changes, but the uh, uh, reality, this change is very big. The one floor becomes the bigger than existing structure. So the proportion of the elevation becomes completely different. So that this is the, uh, the, the perspective view from the north side. And also, the surrounding sloped landscape continue to the inside of the building, like this. Like this. And also, the construction of this project already started. This is a, a photograph of the construction site. This is the e existing level before. But now, we are digging the one level under the underground. That you can see the people here. You can imagine the space of the building. Just uh, this project, just digging the, the surrounding of the building and uh, exposing the existing structure of the underground. So, but uh, the scale of the building completely become different. So this is the uh, existing ground level here. So the, if digging the ground like this, so the the proportion of the b existing building completely become new. And also the inside of the wall is removed already removed everything. And also, that as I explained, this building is brick structure building. That means the all like this existing wall support the all load bearing, load bearing load of the total building. But we remove the uh, structure of the, the brick wall. So that we have to prepare the new foundation under the uh, columns, and also we have to we have to reinforce the uh, existing uh, columns as well. But uh, now you can see the you can see the structure here. That this is the steel structure. So now the structure is a little bit floating from the uh, the existing floor to prepare the a new foundation 
here. So even even if the, this is uh, just a, a coronated space, but uh, uh, the type of the column is completely different, depend on the space. So quality, quality of the space is uh, very different, depend on the, the each position of the building. Uh, this building is uh, probably completed in the in two years, I think. The next project is a very small project. The the we back to Japan. So the, this product is located in the west side of Japan. The, this is the uh, south part of the main island of Japan. Uh, this program is a residential and a restaurant project. The, this is the site. So because the, the this site was this site this site is very local site local site. So the 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 environment is very good. So the client request to make uh, a client is the owner of French restaurant, and also he want to have the his own house. The the his request is create uh, uh, the the kind of the old atmosphere of the uh, restaurant. But uh, very, this is a very difficult uh, request because uh, we are making a new building, but uh, he want to have the old atmosphere of the building. But uh, so I think the of course uh, we can make uh, uh, just uh, uh, old atmosphere building by imitate, imitating. But uh, I don't want to make like this. I want to create an uh, old atmosphere by making the new architecture. So I thought I'm, I consider the what is the oldness of the architecture. So I think the oldness architecture is kind of the process to make a artificial structure to the natural structure, because the the new structure is of course the very artificial. But the, uh, the a lot of rain, a lot of sunlight, wind or something, the time create the oldness by the uh, so for example the uh, the rain. The, and the window broken the uh, artificial structure. So I think the process to uh, process of the uh, process to make a uh, oldness of the architecture is kind of the process to make uh, artificial things to the natural things. Like uh, in between the natural and the artificial one is a kind of the oldness of the architecture. I think in this definition, I create a, a concept of the, this building. So. This is the uh, concept, concept drawing. This is the section of the ground. Now because this product is a very low budget product, therefore it has to be realized a simple way, the, the, and also the minimum contractors. So the, the I just dig the ground like this. So the pouring concrete onto the uh, holes like this. And uh, digging the and excavating the, uh, the 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 surrounding of the soil, and then create the uh, architecture. This is the all. So and also we put the uh, uh, grass on the edge of the uh, building, and then create the uh, inside the space here and here. This is the concept. So and also this is the uh, uh, plan of the uh, house and the restaurant, private house and the uh, owners and also the French restaurant. So this is the entrance for the restaurant here. So this is the restaurant area here. This is the bar counter. This is a hall. And also this is a private house. This is entrance for the private house. This is the living. And uh, this is the dining, and the kitchen, and the bathroom, and the bedroom here. So each, each space is divided by the uh, courtyard, three courtyard. This is the plan. The partially, the we made a model to decide the precise shape of the building, and then the we scan the this model to make a 3D data to make a, a con construction. So I show you the uh, process of the construction. So this is uh, the existing condition of the site. 
we digging the uh, existing uh, the the existing ground one by one. Condition of the, so, the, the, the condition of the soil is completely different on the, depend on the place of the site. The, some hole is, uh, looks very red, some hole is, looks very green or gray, and also some, the, some wall has a, a lot of the stone, uh, some hole is just a, the soil. The condition of, the, uh, condition of the each, each hole is very different. And also that this open space becomes the uh, structure inside. And also this soil, soil, solid, solid soil becomes the space. The, the space and the structure is now opposite. So the finally that this soil massive, uh, massive, uh, solid, solid massive uh, structure becomes the space. I poured concrete uh, this, uh, all these holes. And also that this hole is very big, so that we need to have the a lot of a lot amount of the concrete. But uh, if we divide the process of the pour, process to pouring the concrete, so the color of the concrete becomes different. So we decide the pouring concrete just uh, seven hours. So the, the front of this road was the bus road, but uh, we cut the, uh, the uh, activity of the bus one day. So the we pouring concrete the just the seven hours. The each 15 minutes, the a lot of uh, the concrete car come here and then pouring concrete to fulfill the whole the the whole space of the uh, the in between soil. So just seven hours in the evening, the the this the the hole becomes the a new concrete lake, concrete pond. So that this becomes the very beautiful concrete pond. That these three, uh, three, three, these three island become the courtyard. The after pouring concrete, the we started to excavate the surrounding of the soil of the structure. They are finding the structure, like uh, finding the uh, the old structure on the on on the uh, in the in the soil. Sometimes the this space and another side, another side of the space connected. So now we are considering the how we can remain the uh, surface of the soil. So in Japan, the, we have the technique to make a soil wall. So we use the same technique. We, uh, I'm thinking to remain the, uh, this 
the soil surface on the concrete to, to use by using the uh, same way of the, the technique to make a, a soil wall. So as I said, client want to have the uh, old atmosphere of the space, but uh, I think the we can we we can make the uh, we we made the uh, kind of the uh, oldness old atmosphere of the building inside. So I think that this building looks the ten thousand years ago. Well, I I can recognize that this is the ten thousand years ago building and also the the new building. So the I think the that nobody can recognize that this building is new and the old. So the, the so I think that uh, this building become the kind of the uh, new way to make a uh, uh, new atmosphere of the building. I think. So and also I want to. <laughs> Thank you. So now, uh, sorry. So now I'm creating the the inside space. Now, now the uh, this period is the uh, the period of the construction of the inside. I create a, a new living space and also the the courtyard space around here. And also this is the uh, kitchen room. So this building will be finished uh, uh, this summer, I think. So if uh, you are coming to Japan, probably you can come to this restaurant and then you can eat. And also, next project. The next project is a uh, China project. The recently, my office, the, the China project is increasing. So this is the, uh, the small church project planning in China. So the the site is the, the this is the site. The site is uh, just the bottom of the valley, small valley here. So the the I I want to create a, a new valley which is larger than the gentle existing valley here. So because the the existing valley is uh, just a uh, thirty meter or something. So I want to create a new valley environment by making the new architecture. So uh, this project, as I said, uh, a church project, I want to create a church building as a new valley environment. So uh, this is the site plan. I create a new church in between the existing valley. So I create a, a new plan of the, the church like this, just following the shape of the existing valleys, valley shape. This is the uh, plan of the uh, church. This is the entrance. So the building entrance is around here. So this, the shape, this is the shape of the building here. So as I said, the existing scale of the, uh, the valley is not so big, just a 30 meters. The I want to create a new valley, the bigger than existing valley. The, this structure is 45 meters. So the the now the I'm making the uh, church building here, and also as I said, I want to make this church as a new valley environment. So we ha I have to define the part is the valley. I think the valley is the not just the atmosphere of the uh, valley environment. The valley the valley space is kind of the proportion of the valley. So the valley proportion is narrow and high. So the, I want to create a building more high, more narrow. The, this is a section of the building. The, this is the entrance. The entrance is just 1.3 meters, but the height of the building is uh, 45 meters. So this is narrow and a high space, like a ballet. The, the, the playing space is a little bit wider than uh, entrance, so the sunlight leads to the bottom of the space like this. This is a long section. Uh, this is the play space, playing space. This is the entrance space. So uh, this is the this playing space is wider than the entrance. So the as I said, the the sunlight is leads to the bottom of the bottom of the space. This is a section drawing. Uh, this is the existing ballet shape. Uh, this is the 
structure of the new, new church. The, the right width is 1.3 meters, the height is 45 meters. This is the plan. That this is the entrance, this is the praying space, a little bit wider than the entrance. So this is the shape of the roof here. The, 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 the structure of the building like this. So the praying space, the, a lot of sunlight leads to the praying space. This is the, uh, the, this is the uh, model of the structure. The, this is the 1.3 meters, as I said. This is the 45 meters. So the, because the, the playing space inside is wider than entrance, so entrance is very dark, but the sunlight comes from the inside the building. This is the entrance. The, the sunlight is come from the uh, playing space because the playing space is a lot of sunlight leads to the bottom of the floor. If you see the, uh, the, the ceiling, you can see the a lot of sunlight from the ceiling as well. So, the like the, the this is the view from the entrance. The sunlight come from the uh, the the inside of the building. And also the this space is the praying space. The playing space is a little bit wider than the entrance, so a lot of sunlight leads to the bottom of the space. So, and also, if you turn to the entrance, this is the, uh, the view from the uh, playing space to see the uh, direction of the entrance. So I'm, the, the, this the construction is already started. So now I'm testing the how to make the st the st structure itself, because the the this structure is an independent big wall, so very difficult to make a, a very difficult to make a moldings. So the so the if we make a mold by the uh, one big structure, in this case that we need a lot of money, so very expensive. So the, we decide to use the same technique to make a industrial dam. So the, we 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 pour in concrete. So this is the uh, plan drawing. The size of this building expand 110 meters, and also 70 meters. The the this is the one big single space. The, there is no crumb inside the building. The, the composition of the building is very simple, just a huge single space. The, this is the roof, the roof plan. The, 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 size, the scale of the roof is the same as the plan, the 110 meters by 70 meters. This large roof is made out of one piece of metal plate, just a 12, meter, 12 millimeter steel plate here. The, there are various sides of opening in the huge plate, metal plate like this. Glass is not inserted in this opening, so rain and the window would come into the room from the, this opening. This large single space becomes a huge semi-outdoor space. The, this is a section drawing. The, although the, the wide of this structure one, 110 meters, as I said. There are no crumbs inside of the building. The, this is the roof. The, this is the big one seat of the steel metal plate. The thickness is uh, just uh, 12 meters, as I said. The, this big, metal, big steel metal plate is supported by uh, just the uh, uh, surrounding walls. Uh, even though this space is uh, one giant room, the average ceiling height is just uh, 2.3 meters, very low. This space is the same ceiling height as a notch than the usual Japanese house. It is kind of the, the intimate scale, but at the same time, that this space is extended like uh, a landscape. 
So, this is the ultra thin single space, even though this roof is kind of the, I think that this roof is kind of the mega structure. But, even though this structure is mega structure, but the thickness of the roof is just 12 millimeters. I think that this structure is, I think, the kind of the super delicate mega structure. So, now, Let's think about the space of the Earth where we live. This is a photogram from the outside of the Earth. You can see the cloud and ground. The, we are living between the uh, cloud like a lace and the, the, the land like a paper craft. The in between space, ground, sky, and land, this is the living space with ours. We call this ultra thin space scenery. So I'm trying to make architecture as the same proportion of this scenery. So I think the outside space, outside scenery is a, a not just a, a ambiguous space. I think outside space it has the exact scale and the proportion, I think. So the outside space is a, the very thin and very huge. This is a photograph of the horizon. We are living like this thin proportion of the space. You can see the horizon here. If the, you, are see, you, are see, you are seeing the, uh, the, the, the horizon the, by the, the same level as the eye level, in this case, the distance of the, distance of the horizon from the standing paper is just uh, four kilometers, not so big. So, of course, the outside space uh, looks ambiguous. It's very difficult to define the what is the uh, what kind of the shape of the space outside. But uh, now, I think that even if the horizon space, the hor like even if the big space to see the horizon, I think that uh, you can see you can define the uh, shape of the space like this: four kilometers uh, distance from the standing paper. The the, the previous product, pro, previous, previous product, the charge product, like a ballet space, the ballet is also kind of the scenery. So, but the, the proportion of the ballet is a narrow and high. But the, the horizon space, the big scenery space outside, is, this space is the proportion is a very low and very big. So like this proportion. I want to create a building, same proportion as outside space like this, seeing the uh, horizon. So this is the photograph of the model from the side. The proportion of this building is extremely thin. This is uh, uh, the site for this building is a part of the campus of the university. The location is the, this is the location, this is the located where the ground level is lower than the rest of the campus. So this big roof is the first thing that visitors see. Okay. The, this is a photograph looking into the inside of the building. The floor and the ceiling have the subtle curvature like this. The, this is the uh, section of the earth. The, you can see the horizon, the connecting point, the ground and the sky. But uh, this building also the, like this curvature, like this. So the floor and the ceiling have the subtle curvature, as I said. So far in the distance, looks like a horizon here. It is ceiling like a sky and the floor like a earth. Again, this is a picture of the horizon. The, in this huge scenery, some place bring the sunlight that comes in, like this. And also, the most of the area is dark. And also, the sometimes it rains, even if the, um, another area is not rain. Our building is the same as this. So this is the photogram of the inside the space. Some place becomes the bright, like this. Some place becomes very dark, and some place the sometimes the rain. If the, it is a rainy day, the a lot of rainy columns, the water columns, is appear inside, 
and also some place become the waterfall in the rainy day. That depend on the weather condition, the inside space atmosphere is also become different. So by planning this building, we think of making a new scenery in the university. In other words, rather than go to the square, the student will come to this building as if they are traveling to another world. So now uh, I'm testing the how to construct this big metal plate because uh, uh, the, 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 this is a very thin metal plate, very big, so very difficult to weld. So we are testing how to make a very beautiful single steel big plate. So the construction will be start at the end of this month, and then the, this building will be a complete uh, next of the uh, next next year, beginning of the next year. So the, this is the uh, final product here. So the, this was the exhibit in the group show at the Art Museum of Tokyo, 2007. The space was large with a ceiling height of 20 meters. It was large space here. So I want to create a, I want to, I want to create a kind of the scenery here rather than just a put the object. This is a sketch for the exhibition. We seen in this giant square space, I thought of floating giant metal square mass. It is square volume made by the hard metal. It is about uh, as large as five-story building. The weight is one ton. By filling the mass, helium gas, it floats around the space like a balloon, like this. This is a photograph of, photograph of the site. Because it is about uh, as large as a five-story building, it was constructed like an architecture. The crane came into the museum to assemble it like a building. It was con constructed by the jacking it up little by little. The uh, this is the aluminum truss, and also this is the aluminum plate. Uh, this plate prevents the, uh, the distorted shape. The, the total weight of this structure is several tons. The, it it fulfills enough helium gas to zero the weight. The big mass, which is one ton, around a five-story building, is floating slowly around in the atrium. The square metal body is filled with the helium gas, so buoyancy cancels the self-weight. So the, with no strings attached to it, so slowly drift about the bumping into the wall and the floor. 